inside and fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but in the know from the first time, the first time I've seen you love, you got me, baby. Hey sweets, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much guys for subscribing and thank you for the love in the previous vlog. Um, I just want to bathe my baby, LA2. Before we get into that, please do subscribe, leave a comment. I really do appreciate your comments guys. I've been seeing the love and I really do appreciate that. It really does motivate me to see that um, you guys are loving my content. And yeah, I hope to bring you guys more fun content. I know right now we're pretty chilled, um, doing a bit of indoor vibes, but I will be going out like I said in 2024. Right now, I can't. Um, I can't. It, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it it doesn't work out at the moment because I'm I'm looking after my child. So yeah. So right now I'm going to bathe LA two. Um, every time I have to bathe this boy, guys, I have so much of a meltdown. Um, yeah, I literally get a melt a, a mental breakdown. So this happens when I have to uh, bath him, and I also have to change his nappy. Like it's a struggle, it's a fuss. We fight a lot um, during these times, so I really don't like doing this, but I have to do it. I literally have no choice. So. Right now, um, I cut his hair. The boy has a cheese cup now. Literally, cheese cup vibes. Um, yeah, I want. He's never cut his hair before, like fully, fully. So, yeah, I want him to start on a clean slate. I want him to start on a clean slate. So I cut his hair, and i cut his hair so now i'm going to also use the shampoo called the Kaz shampoo so l2 had cradle cap like it was a big thing a big problem so it looks like dandruff um in newborns but it's 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 called cradle cap so it's a skin condition it's not dandruff so yeah i took him to a pediatrician and they prescribed that shampoo so i will be like washing his hair with that because i fully cut his hair and then after that, I'll be putting this into, so this is his collapsible bathtub. I'll be putting it into the, the normal um, adult bathtub so that I can bathe him. I just want to show you guys how this thing looks. For those who want to get it, I got it from, I got it as a gift actually during my baby shower. But you guys can get it from Baby Zara's. Um, Toys R Us that shop and just came also now has it but it's a bit smaller than this so yeah so this is how it looks I'm going to put this in for now I'm going to use the adult bathtub to, to wash his hair then I'm going to take out all of that water and then put this into the adult bathtub pour the water and then bathe him in this I don't like washing his hair and body in the same tub. Um, I think that that chemical is a bit strong. That shampoo is a bit strong because I was instructed to make sure that I wash it thoroughly. So, yeah. And he doesn't like bathing in the adult bathtub. Um, so, when he's in here, I think he's much more comfortable because it's silicone based so it's not like slippery so when he's in the adult bathtub it's slippery but in here it's not slippery so i think that's why he's most comfortable so yeah that's what we're doing right now just bathing the boy can you hear how he's screaming he drives me mad sometimes yeah, so my install is still intact. It's been seven days now, which I'm pretty shocked that it's intact, guys. Like, it's laid. Look at that. It's literally laid. So I got this dupe from, from Mr. Price. Yes, from Mr. Price. I think it's something around 80 rand, somewhere there. I think it's aesthetically pleasing, guys. It looks really modern. And the nice part is I don't have to wear a satin bonnet to sleep i just wear this and sleep and my wig when i wake up my wig is still the same wow
Okay, anyway, yeah. So when I wake up in the morning, my wig is still intact. I don't have to stress about the lace lifting or anything like that. I do wear my satin bonnet when I take a shower and I take a, or I take a bath. But when I sleep, I don't wear all of that. Yeah, the boy is not keen. Um, <laughs> let me bathe him. Yeah, so my boy has... My boy has eczema, so I use this Aquas cream and there's this other mixture that they, they prescribed for him. So they mixed that whole thing. I don't know what they mixed in that mixture. Um, or I'd rather not say because you need a prescription for it. So this is the kids shampoo I was talking about. So I'm going to use this on his head and then use that on his body so this is what i use on a daily basis this is all i put on my baby's skin nothing else because he's got really sensitive skin so yeah let's pass the boy and then move on to other things so there isn't much space in this bathroom check the boy Holy cheese cob, looking cute. What one? You guys understand now why I go mad. Like, check how naughty this boy is. Ella, two. Stop it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Get those sharp, I have not. I get those sharp, I have not. Get sharp, I need a Yeah? I went to China more, guys. Um, yeah, there's a lot of drama that happened today. I think I'm going to go to the Give you friends some tea before I show you what I wanted to show you. Na? So, I went to my grandfather's house um so my grandfather hasn't seen my my son yet so what happened is i just want to like give you a little bit of info so uh my mom got married again so my surname Miyahasi, is my stepdad's surname so my actual my dad's real surname king kwamza so I should be Temekan Gwamza, which is a Tosa surname, so I'm 100% Tosa. Um, but yeah, I'm using the surname Yahasi. So I went to go see my grandfather, so my dad's my dad's father, um, Kitatum Kuluaka. Um, yeah, so I went to see him, and when I got there, there was a funeral, guys. Imagine. So I tried calling him, his number wasn't going through. So I'm that person usually when I go there, I only go there when there's special occasions. Well, funerals, parties, you know, like occasions. I don't usually, I'm not that close with my dad's side of the family, but I know all of them, you know. I know my cousins and everyone. But when I got there, there was a funeral, guys. I spoke to my dad yesterday asking for my grandfather's number and guess what? He didn't tell me there's a funeral, which today I came to understand why he didn't. My dad is so sick, guys. Yeah, he's he's so sick. It's actually, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. It's it's bothering me, you know. I am not or anything like that. But he did try to play a role. I remember Varsity, he did try to like pay some of my fees and stuff. So now there's a lot that he didn't do for me, but I don't know. Um, I don't like I come to a lot of grudge or anything like that. I moved on from that, but now I understand why he didn't tell me about the funeral. But anyway, I saw my whole family. You know, yeah, there was just a lot going on, but I was there just to see my grandfather, so I did manage to speak to him. I will go again to have a proper conversation about what um i wanted to speak to him about but for now uh yeah and then i went to china more so i was with my brother and my sister and my son so we went to china more and 
as we were there obviously you know China more you get a bit um what's the word you get excited and then you start walking like literally in all of those aisles and looking for things you're not even planning to buy there was working working looking for things and guess what i remembered um i wanted a canvas and i wanted paints so i wanted to have a canvas that has my child's uh footprints and handprints so yes i don't know what that thing is called is it archiving things yeah probably i want to archive i don't know these footprints so i've got this canvas i got this canvas and then i also bought paint so i bought this little paint black so it's, it's a, it looks a bit charcoal charcoal yeah charcoal so more like gray grayish black i don't know so i got that also and i also again i also got this cuticle oil because i needed one so yeah that's what i bought from china mom i also wanted to show you guys my son's bag so he has this cute bag from earth the child he got it as a gift please excuse the noise my mom is rude sometimes yeah so i bought this i didn't buy it why are you lying i didn't buy this bag he got it as a gift from my neighbor for his first birthday so it came with like a short and a top like from narki um i love this backpack guys so when i go to the mall or anything like that i don't travel i don't struggle to travel with the boys bottles and nappies and wipes everything literally fits in here so i put the wipes in here i mean the the nappies and then the wipes fit into here see i even have a sweater for the boy in case it gets cold so we've got bum cream use this bennett's bum cream and wipes i love these wipes guys even before i was pregnant i would buy these regularly on a monthly basis that's how much i am a huge fan of these wipes so i put this the wipes the bum cream three bottles a jersey and nappies like i'm good like I, I can literally fit a whole outfit in there but not shoes just obviously a top and pants but i love this so much guys um i love this backpack i'm so grateful <laughs> like you know these these bags Tawana, they just frustrate me so much what on dinner again ciao really Dude, you're going to get hurt, man. I wanted to show you guys what I buy a little on a monthly, whether I like it or not. I have to buy three tins of man. One tin is 485. Imagine, guys. I mean, I also buy these Huggies. So I prefer the Huggies Gold. So he wears size 5. Huggies gold. I buy 3 of these also. And then. So it's those 2. On a monthly plus. His liquid. His sterilizing liquid. The molten liquid. I think I've already showed you guys in the previous vlog. So I don't want to show you the same thing over and over. And then. I also like buying this box of wipes. So I don't buy this on a monthly. I buy this at least every 2 two months yeah it lasts every two to three months uh well two months let me be honest two months because i also um love using wipes like to wipe my hands and stuff like that so i prefer buying this rather than buying the small packs because it lasts longer and it means i don't have to buy this on a monthly basis so these are my favorites i am not changing i've used these before Ele2 was even born, uh, now that he's here, we're also using this on him. And it's treating his skin really well. So Ele2 has eczema. 
and his skin is really sensitive yeah so that's what i buy for him on a monthly um yeah besides clothes and stuff so i bought him these sandals from Woolies. um i think it was during november i wanted him to wear these for his birthday so his birthday is on the 8th of november i bought size 3 and already now it's january the 6th and these shoes are small so i am able to fit his feet into them but his big toe comes through this part so i mean it means they're really small but when i put him on a stroller then i make him wear them but if he's going to walk then i don't because it's really uncomfortable but my heart is really broken guys how cute are these sandals how cute are they so my heart is broken because it literally means now i have to go and buy more shoes when i thought actually our shoe collection is growing so elity doesn't have a lot of shoes guys i'm gonna show you what elity has so let me open here he's got a couple of shoes doesn't have a lot but i'm growing his collection slowly but surely so the reason why also i am not buying a lot of shoes is because the boy doesn't like wearing shoes he doesn't like wearing shoes but now that he's going to crash he has to wear shoes so he's got this these shoes i know they're dirty he's been wearing these ones for some reason he seems pretty comfortable in these he doesn't take them off so we have these and then he also has these gray ones so initially i bought these ones so he can play with them they are in a size four so yeah these are also size four and then he's got these ones which are a size four also and then there's these sneakers they are a size three he hasn't worn these yet and then these he wore on christmas they also are size four so and then he's got his slippers so all of these shoes are from Woolies or Woolworths I love buying like Woolworths clothes for my boy so I noticed clothes from Woolworths and Kido are literally the same thing but Kido is much more expensive let me make an example I saw like if you buy this outfit literally from Woolies it's 300 but when you go to Kido it's 500 the same outfit so obviously different design but same material same it's the same thing basically so yeah I would rather buy Woolies than Kido the boy is still really small so my intention is not really to spend a lot of money or splurge too much on clothes he looks really good in Woolies clothes the quality is really amazing also I love that um his clothes last long because i buy them from Woolies. so um he's got shorts that i got from ackermans but i got them during the baby shower or the baby sprinkle so yeah he does wear those shorts but to play around the house but all his clothes from Woolies are to go out and to look good for special occasions so yeah um that's what i've been doing for my boy i'm just trying to grow a shoe collection but at the same time, it's it's a bit stressful because the boy's leg, uh, feet are actually growing really quickly. But we've got something for now. Like, I wonder how we expand on it. Um, but clothes-wise, he's got a lot. Like, and most of his clothes are actually from movies. The Ackermans ones he plays with. Um, yeah. But the quality is really amazing. Ele is here, guys. Let me go finish what I need to do. Maybe you only want what you can't have Never seem to be satisfied Till it all goes bad Maybe I should just give someone else a chance
I went to refinery woods and this came. So I'm going to start with LO2 stuff um, and give you guys a bit of a backstory. So I really suffer from mom guilt, guys. It's a real thing whereby I already feel so much guilty when I have to purchase stuff for myself. But when I buy things for LA too, then it feels noble. It feels like, you know, I'm being a responsible mom and I'm playing my part in his life. So, yeah, that's something I need to work on now in 2024. So now I'm trying to balance things out. When I buy something for LA too, I have to buy something for myself also. The plan is I need to pour into my cup as much as I pour into my son's cup. And that's the only way I can be the best mom to LA2. So LA2 now is a year and two months. So it's time for him to... Well, he's, he's still taking formula, you know. But he doesn't want to hold a bottle for himself. So I got this feeding bottle from Discam. Um, it's from the brand, the brand Baby Things. So I took this fast flow. It's a 240 milliliter bottle um and it says six months plus so i got this i want to try this out so that i don't have to hold his bottle i'm tired he is he can hold things for himself but i don't understand why he wants me to hold his bottle when he's feeding and that thing is tiring guys he needs to be a bit more independent now as he's walking so i got that and then also um in december i had bought these shorts for him so these shorts it's a two-pack thing um i never bought the shirt so now i went to woolies and i bought the shirts and they were on sale so this is how they look and this one like i think it's a beautiful combo one thing i love most about woolies clothes is they pay attention man to a selection of colors so if you look here it's a fun shirt with you know a, it's got a bit of color you know a bit of pink a bit of a bit of blue a bit of green um you know some sage green these are colors i really like for my son um my son is pretty handsome guys so the plan is to make him not wear sage green anymore because when he's wearing sage green he looks way too he looks girly you know so yeah um i got this outfit looks really cute and this so he's starting crash in feb so i'm planning for that um yeah he'll be wearing shorts and shirts to crash and then i got this nice tracksuit so i like um buying tracksuits from woolies this is how it looks I got it on sale. I got it on sale for 164 and the original price is 220. Excuse the noise outside. Somebody's selling something, so there definitely will be noise, guys. Yeah. So let's continue. And then it comes with, well, I'm lying, it doesn't come with. I bought this secret. It's a track pants and it's 189 from woolies also so the set looks really good for the boy i love buying um clothes from woolies guys um i never go to the mall and never not go to woolworths i don't know i'm so obsessed i don't know if it's the aesthetic or the environment or there's just something there you know so i i love even buying clothes for my son at woolies simply because of the quality guys the quality the color selection i think the clothes look really good they don't look like baby clothing you know so yeah willis is my my favorite shop guys my number one when it comes to buying stuff for my son i also do love buying things for myself so from willis i got these shirts so it looks exactly like this shirt that i'm wearing currently this white one so i've got a white and a black one and now well in summer 2023 they introduced more colors so i got this green and then i got a peach color and 
and then I also got this lilac one and I got pink so the idea the reason why I bought four is when you buy two you pay 150 but if you buy one you, you pay 179 so I took four two two that way I pay 150 for each shirt and I took them in the size extra small because I'm a pretty um, tiny person and then from refinery we went to so from refinery I got jeans I got three jeans to be specific I got two blue jeans so this one I think the other one I wore it already that's why you guys are not gonna see it but I'll include a clip so that you can see the third one that's my favorite actually and then I got this black one also so yeah um I love buying jeans from refinery guys the quality is really amazing I've got a jean from three years ago and I still wear it now and the quality is good I mean I haven't gained weight that much I think the pregnancy period the 2022 pregnancy period really helped i wasn't like going out so i was wearing a lot of check suits because i was pregnant somewhere during winter so i was i was buying a lot of check suits from factory guys um so the sweatpants um sweaters that was my vibe so yeah i still have that jean and it's in good quality therefore i decided i'm gonna go buy jeans from um refinery um, I love the quality also and again I no longer buy torn jeans and stuff because I can't wear torn jeans to work so it doesn't make sense for me to buy them and I hardly ever go out so buying jeans that are torn isn't really going to benefit me remember the plan is we need to save as much money as possible so I'm buying things that I know I can wear like long term and not short short term. So yeah, and again I'm revamping my wardrobe guys. I'm purchasing stuff that are basics, basically. I purchase basics. I wear basics. Um that way I know I can wear them for a couple of years. Because this thing of buying clothes every month honestly isn't on. You need to save money, guys. You need to save money. Everything's going up, so save as much as you can. Um, yeah, and again, I think after becoming a, par a parent, that's where I saw the importance of saving. I was like, oh, okay, in, you know, things come up anytime, therefore you need to have money. So yeah, um, that's what I bought from um, Woolies Refinery and this came. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys. Please do subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. 